So the first thing you should know about referees is that they are people and they make mistakes. For example, I refed my first match like a few nights ago and I was terrible. Like the worst ref ever. Refing is actually really, really hard and understand that they make mistakes, okay? And it is completely justifiable for you to get mad when they make a mistake. Understand that. It is okay for you to get mad when they, when they make a mistake, but it is solely up to you. It is solely up to you to make sure that they don't make any mistakes, that they have, that you, you have no room for error. You have to win every second of every match that you're in. You have to be trying to win it. You know what I mean? You have to be trying to show the ref that you're beating this kid, show the ref that you're inflicting your will on this kid. You know what I mean? For example, okay, so I, I wrestled in this tournament. It was like the second or third tournament of the season. I think I might've told this story on my channel before. Maybe not. Like the first day I blow through everyone. Like uh, I'm immediately in the semifinal or I'm in the quarterfinals the next day. Um, make weight, fine, whatever. Win my match in the quarterfinals. Win my match in the semifinals. I make it to the finals, right? I make it to the finals. And I'm about to like win this tournament. I'm about to win this like easy ass tournament. That, but it's like first, it's like, it's gonna help our team win and I'm gonna get a trophy and it's gonna be dope. I start wrestling this kid and this is like, this is a kid that I had wrestled I think five times before, like in the season before. This was the first time I saw him that season, but I wrestled him and not five times, probably like three times before. And I whooped him every time. Like, I'm telling you, I whooped him every single time, okay? So I'm wrestling him in the finals. I'm, like, I'm telling you, I am, like, I'm tallying this kid up. I am literally scoring points on this kid left and right. I think I took him down twice, and I got back points. And an escape, I want to say. And I started on top in the third period. I locked hands in the second period. So it was 8-1. Okay, third period starts. Third period starts. I'm whooping this kid. I start riding him. I put a leg in. I'm on top. And like, we're wrestling, right? I'm beating his ass. Little did I know that the match had started for 15 seconds. Because I, I had a video of this, but I lost it on my old phone. The match had started for 15 seconds. And like, the, the clock didn't start going, right? And my coach didn't re uh, realize, and my friend was recording it. Like, nothing no, nothing was said about that, but we wrestled, we ended up having to wrestle for an extra 15 seconds. Now, I was on top of this kid, and I was just, like, riding him out. With eight seconds left, I kid you not, with eight seconds left, he moved back, and my hips got high, okay? So I was high on his hips, and my hands weren't under his armpit. I hadn't, like, I don't know why I wasn't doing that. And he grabbed my head. He grabbed my head on one shoulder, and I'm telling you, my back, my shoulders rolled, like, the top, the top of my shoulders, the top of my shoulders rolled across the mat like that, and the ref called a pin. I just lost this match. I just lost this match because... I, because I got headhunted, like, for half a second, for half a second. I was whooping this kid for five minutes and 45, five minutes and like 50 seconds or something. I lost because I was losing the match for one second. You know what I mean? I was winning the whole match and for one second I decided to lose and I lost. Like, that was totally my fault, right? It sucks that the ref made a bad call and he wasn't paying attention to the clock and the clock didn't start and that no one said anything about that. But I, as the wrestler, can't do anything. You know what I mean? It is up to me to determine my own fate because I am the only, I am the common denominator that I can, like, control. On the mat, I am the only thing that I can control. But another thing, like, another thing to that story, so, I have ADHD really, really, really bad. Like, I get super distracted all the time. I am, like, the easiest person to get off topic. Like, the easiest person to get off topic. And in high school, I had no medication. I'm not on medication right now, but I had no medication. And, like, my, like, before I even took medication, my thoughts were so sporadic. Like, I couldn't, like, I couldn't pay attention in class. I couldn't, like, it was ridiculous. I would get distracted during wrestling matches. You know what I mean? Like, in the middle of a wrestling match, someone would be screaming, Isaac, Isaac, and I'd be like, what? Like, literally during a wrestling match. So, like, it was so, so bad. So, my senior year, I wore earplugs to, like, help this, to, like, stop myself from getting distracted and I could focus in on the match. At this tournament, when I lost, when I lost, I threw my headgear and I tore out my ear, my earbuds, and they were like wax. They were like ones for like swimmers or something. And like they formed to the inside of your ear. And I tore them out like this. I like literally with my fingers, bah, and tore them out. And like I cut them 
like flush with my ear hole and there was wax earplugs still in my ear and it got stuck in there for I swear two weeks two weeks completely deaf completely couldn't hear anything it was bad it was so bad so remember tips for shitty refs if in the end a shitty ref will come to you and it will suck he won't call a pin he won't give you back points he, you know what I mean? You'll get a shitty ref every now and again, but it's up to you to be the common denominator. Like you have to work so much harder than your competition that it's not even a factor. It's not even an option for the ref to mess this up. You know what I mean? You won every single second of that match. So that ref cannot decide like, you know what I mean? You can't talk back to a ref. If you have a dispute with a ref, you have to look at your coach and like mouth something to him. You cannot say anything. You will get ejected from the tournament if you talk back to your ref. Like it is very easy to get ejected from a tournament. Talk back two or three times. Um, if you're injured, twirl your finger, of course. But other than that, don't leave anything up to the ref because they suck and it, like refing, Refing in high school is hard because you only have one person refing and oftentimes they're not very like skilled refs and they get caught up in the moment and they're just people, you know what I mean? So it's up to you. You decide if you win or lose, not the ref. If you like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.